Hi everybody, I'm meteorologist Joe Chaffee. Uh, I was trying to go, uh, trying to do this live on Facebook, but between uh, signal issues and phone issues, I just thought it better to do it this way. Um, the models today, of course, is the chatter all over the place about um, possibilities of winter storms for a winter storm for next weekend, and uh, I'll show you why the model did what it did, and I will also tell you why I'm uh, dead against it at this point based on what I'm looking at. Um, first off, the probably the, the model that I think is the most bullish was the midday run of the GFS. And what it did was that it brings up a low out of the Gulf states right up along the coast and wraps it up into a very deep low just east of Montauk with a lot of snow, certainly for the interior areas. Uh, just inland of the coast from Maine all the way down into northern New Jersey and northeastern Pennsylvania. Okay, why am I not really too excited about this? Well, let's look at the upper air and see what's going on. What the GFS does is it takes this strong upper air disturbance that it shows in northern Illinois uh, for next sun, next Saturday night, early Sunday morning, and really intensifies it as it moves it east into northern Virginia, then somewhere off the southern New Jersey or Delaware coast, and takes it right over Long Island, very wrapped up upper air system, which is all fine and dandy. But the problem is that this is fantasy, in my view, uh, when you look at what's going on. And I'm going to, going to now um, switch over to the European view. And this model has been so much better overall that I, I think you really have to say that it's until proven otherwise, you have to go with it. First off, <clears throat> you notice that <clears throat> by Sunday morning, that system that the GFS has is much less deep than um, the European is. And also the European is much more progressive. In other words, the European wants to just move it along rather than intensify it and then lift it up from southwest to northeast and that's what it does um, it has this trough uh, here by Monday morning just a north-south trough I mean it's a pretty good trough but it's 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 nothing to really scream home about and it's a primary difference with regards to the GFS and when we go to the wider view I think you can see it a little better you you see how the um, European times out everything in the jet stream from northern Canada right down to Hudson's, Hudson's Bay to uh, southeastern Canada, almost at a straight line here. So this is all almost all part of one system. The, and I think that's probably, I mean, it's how it times it out, and it seems to make the most sense to me. When you look at the GFS, now this is the new 18Z GFS, which actually is very much like the European. So it is already backed off from what it had earlier. This is what it had earlier. The northern part of this is much more separate. You've got a vortex over Labrador. You've got another one back up in northern Canada, and they just kind of stay separate rather than phase the whole thing all the way down so that the system here stays separate as well. I mean, that's what you would have to have. <coughs> excuse me. That would, That's what has to happen in order to get any kind of a winter storm here. Uh, to have the uh, g the jet separated like this, if the European view is correct, and I think it 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 is, um, you're just going to wind up having uh, a low that's going to go to your west. Now, if you take a look on the surface, we're going to go to the surface view, and you'll see it here. This is the GFS's view for Monday morning. Okay, you see how it has that low touching Montauk, uh, very deep nor'easter. The European has a low up north of Caribou. And how the European gets there is that it takes a surface low rather than, uh, you can kind of find low pressure here in the Gulf states. And then you have a low that's up in northwestern Pennsylvania, probably another low center somewhere in the mountains of North Carolina or Virginia. Uh, there's no real cold air damming down the Appalachians to any, uh, any degree. Uh, the colder air is well up into upstate New York and northernmost New England. And, that these two lows on the European wind up consolidating uh, and going uh, north of Maine. And this is the view that the model has had now for about six or seven runs as, as we've come closer to the time frame. To me, it makes the most sense. Uh, I think that 
One of the biggest problems this winter has been trying to time out all these different disturbances uh, in the atmosphere, and uh, each one, each model run takes you on a different adventure because each model run times everything out differently. And I, I think the, G the European has a, a much better view in terms of how it times everything out. It, in, in almost every instance that we've seen the models show some sort of vigorous system in the southern part of the jet stream staying separate from the north, it's wound up uh, not happening. So I don't, given that the overall flavor of the pattern this winter has been pretty much the same for the last couple of months, why would it be any different this time around? That's my particular view. So until the European model changes its view, I'm going to just pretty much stay with this idea and uh, leave it be. Again, I'm against the notion that there's going to be a winter storm next week, and I think it's just going to be a rainstorm for us or some kind of rain event, and uh, that'll be that. Um, I have an open mind. If the model changes, I will uh, adjust accordingly. But you're really at the point of the, of the season where you have to prove it to me and weather conditions have to be absolutely perfect in order for something to happen. So uh, have a good evening. I hope your team got into the NCAA tournament. And um, happy St. Patrick's Day. We celebrated it early today with some corned beef and, and uh, some, some uh, sauerkraut and some spinach because I'm not a big fan of cabbage. And... Um, Anyway, so enjoy your week ahead, and we'll keep an eye on this. And if you haven't read it yet, I've got my, my uh, Joseph Damas post on the European. I also have a, a post on the GFS uh, that pretty well explains all of this.